Three testers every homeowner should have and also know how to use is an outlet tester, a non-contact voltage tester, and a multimeter. An outlet tester is excellent because it does a couple things. One is it tells you if the outlet is properly wired and especially if you have electronic equipment you want it going in through the hot side and coming out through the neutral and if it's wired backwards you can actually shorten the life of your electronics. Another safety feature if you have floor lamps plugged into an outlet that's wired improperly it can actually be live, the socket can be live even if the, the switch is off. So just an excellent tool and most of these have a guide on it to tell you exactly what the lights mean. So just a, a nice thing to have in your toolbox. A non-contact voltage tester I like much more than uh, uh, with some of those small testers with the two probes. And I like this style that you have to actually physically turn it on and hold it on because it lets you know that it's working. When you depress this and hold it on it's going to chirp and it's going to give you a light and now by continually depressing this button you can tell whether a circuit is live and you don't have to touch it especially if you're in an area like this where you have metal boxes and if you didn't know whether it was live and here you have very little space if you took this out and touched the box it could be a shock hazard so just an excellent tool and then the third thing is every homeowner should really have a multimeter and this does a variety of different tests and you can turn it to AC alternating current and you can test your outlets and switches and it tells you whether it's live or not it also tells you whether there's a grounding problem and then it does a couple other things that I want to show you I like a multimeter because it's very flexible you can do a lot of different tests with this one tester and so you can check AC 120 or 240 volts you can check DC so if you have a car battery that you want to check you can check that with this also and then it has settings like this it has a 9 volt and a 1.5 volt so uh, when you have when you're plugging your tester in you're gonna have one side that has the red lead and one side that has the black lead when you're testing regular AC current it doesn't matter which probe you use when you're testing batteries you want the positive side to be on your red probe and the negative side on your black probe and so I set this to 9 volt and we just test this and you can see nothing is going on so this is a bad battery and now we'll test this other battery and you can see how it goes to 9 volts so just a, a nice handy tool to have in the house we can switch this to 1.5 and whether you have a, a D battery and a double A AA or a triple A, all of these are 1.5 volts. It's just bigger storage or smaller storage. And by touching it on the ends, you can see 1.5 volts. So just a great tool to test batteries. And now I can switch this to the continuity test. And if you have a switch that you're wondering, you have a light or something that's not working, and you wanted to test your switch, you would put it in the on position and you're testing to see if there's a flow of current through this and by testing by touching the two screw terminals you can see that it's showing a current passing through this and the same thing if you have fuses or car fuses you can touch it on the contacts and you can see that it's showing that a current is passing through this. So just an excellent tool to do a variety of things around the house. So if you had these three tools in your home, you would be able to do pretty much any electrical test that you need to do.